All right, so <laughs> I had just recorded this whole part of the vlog, but I switched the camera to 4K just because I wanted to see how it looked before I go on vacation and stuff. Um, and then I didn't like it. It like got rid of all the color in the screen. Like as of right now, I look tan like my true self. And before that, I looked gray, like very cool tone. Didn't like that. And then the SD card that I have in the camera right now is 128 gigabytes. And it only gave me five hours of filming available. And without it on just with the on HD, I have 10 hours and two minutes. So yeah, I don't like having to like switch out the memory card and stuff for vlogs. So I just would prefer an HD. I think the HD is very like what is going on? <laughs> I think the HD is clear enough. If you guys want me to switch to 4K, just let me know. But yeah. So like I was telling you guys before Harper came in here doing his hairy dance. I so yeah, so Today's Monday, it is 3.48. Come on, don't even start. Come on, come on. I can't think if I hear you. <laughs> you just spit on my bag, get out of here. Get out of here. Um, so. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so yesterday we didn't do anything, which is why I didn't vlog. We watched The Mandalorian. You noticed they caught up on the Star Wars stuff. It came out on Disney Plus season two. We fell asleep, we woke up and then we finished it. Um, and then other than that, we just like ate dinner and stuff. So yeah, we didn't film at all. Today we just did schoolwork, obviously classes and stuff like that. So I don't have anything planned for the rest of the day. Um, so I need to start trying to figure out what's going to be packed so I know if I need to go shopping or order anything. Um, I'm not doing the most or anything this trip, um, but I'm just kind of... And trying to get my thoughts together i'm not one of those people that's super last minute because it gives me anxiety so yeah me i don't have anything to pack because you guys know i got rid of all my pants and stuff so i don't know what i'm wearing i want to look cute but at the same time i don't feel like buying no clothes and i don't want to go to the mall and then harper has everything all her outfits laid out i'm just waiting for like um i'm just waiting for like her balenciagas and stuff to get here and then her accessories and stuff so i'm waiting on like packages from like czar and all those other places but yeah other than that i'm not doing anything today but in the original part of the vlog that i filmed the first time i was showing you guys my birthday dress yes i ordered my birthday dress in october and my birthday's not until april mind your business nobody asked you what your opinion was so i'm gonna show you guys my birthday dress in two seconds um I just it's so pretty i don't have anywhere to wear it to that's actually funny i got invited to go somewhere this weekend but i'm not going because we're in the middle of a fucking pandemic and that's just no but yeah so i ordered my birthday dress i just wanted to show that to you guys in case anybody was looking like for some outfit and sport anything don't steal my birthday dress don't you do it um but yeah hold on somebody text me anyway so yeah um but I don't really have anything planned today. I need to do laundry really, really bad. My laundry basket is filled to the brim. I'm excited for dinner today because I'm going to make spaghetti. And I've been craving spaghetti. I haven't cooked in so long. I hope I still know how to work a stool. And in the beginning of quarantine, I was cooking three meals a day. And now I'm just like, Uber eats me, please. I'll show you guys my birthday dress just so we can get off of here because I don't want to talk to y'all heads off. When I was editing the last vlog, I said, God damn, baby, you talk too much like literally just be talking y'all heads off i don't know how y'all watch me like i really don't and i look crazy but i'm so excited because i got all my beauty appointments this weekend just to get myself together for fun so yeah let me let me show you guys the dress let me just show up so this is one of my birthday dresses one of my little fits or whatever i don't have no plans or nothing for my birthday hopefully corona ain't here so i could do like a week-long vacation with my friends on the pj and my man and stuff but yeah other than that you know one thing at a time but yeah so i got this dress from god saves queens so i bought the original dress i didn't get like the you know fast fashion one um that everybody has been wearing on instagram no shade to you but we'll have that discussion in a little bit but anyways so it's just a satin slip dress you guys know i love me a good satin slip love the booby part i feel like it's really covered but at the same time it's very sexy and revealing my boobs look phenomenal um it's just a standard slip and then it has an illusion where it looks like the dress goes in but it's just all mesh but it does that in the front and the back hold on it's kind of dark do i gotta open the window but yeah it does that in the front and the back so it's just super super sexy like this plays with your mind a little bit i do have on panties so it just 
hangs the right way but let me show you this part too it has a strap on the back so that like the blue part stays secure and then it has a super super low back which is my favorite part so once i play with like the halter neck i can control how low this is but this is definitely why i got the dress the so yeah so like i said this is from the brand god saves queens every time i sit right here it looks like i have a mark on my forehead um but yeah so she came from europe i don't i think she was from london i don't remember when i was looking at the dragon but yeah she came all the way from europe she was 175 or 185 dollars i don't remember excluding tax and stuff like that so yeah that's all i had to say today so i'm starving i'm gonna order me and harp some lunch well me harping my little sister i'm waiting for the hair bleach to get here so i could dye my little sister's hair but yeah um what are you eating Food. right you're not funny but yeah all right, i will see you guys a little bit later oh wait no i'll see you guys tomorrow so say deuces heart you need your hair done kid say holla at me click the bell on the button what click the bell and hey, make sure you subscribe like the video leave a comment and get the thumbs up and follow my mom on instagram <laughs> bye y'all all right it's wednesday i didn't vlog at all yesterday uh but that's because it was election day and <laughs> the way my anxiety was set up yeah i couldn't get on camera so <clears throat> here we are it's a new day we are waiting to see what the fuck is about to happen but yeah it's like early it's like 10 41 in the morning so right now it's a pretty close race fingers crossed that pennsylvania <laughs> Cause they should get there because if not i'm moving but yeah so i just want to come on here and show you guys my practice today um uh, because i don't i'm not doing anything as well either today i am just gonna be finishing my laundry <clears throat> doing some last minute shopping and then like doing last minute shopping online obviously and then uh what else am i gonna do my skin is so dry so if you ski see any dryness just please ignore me but yeah i'm gonna be doing that um just like cleaning up the house and stuff um and then me and harper are gonna work ahead for all the schoolwork so yeah so yesterday in the mail i got uh harper's balenciagas um these are like very expensive in kids sizes in my opinion when i got harper's her first pair of these this is when they first came out like literally when they used to be sold on essence please so um when they first became a kid thing they were sold on essence and like obviously um like the balenciaga, web balenciaga website but like they weren't on sex neiman's anything so i ordered hers from essence and when they first came out they were 250 250 or 280 but you know i was like okay it's expensive but it's a designer shoe but it's not too expensive right okay cool boom now these things cost 350 and it's just like even though harper's six she grows so quick that like i could get one that's way too big and you know it's not gonna fit her the right way like it'll be too much space or i could get her one that fits perfectly for 350 dollars and then they don't fit in a month or two so yeah just saying they are expensive i do however think they're worth the money that's where i was getting with that um because they are so comfortable harper is so finicky about her shoes like homegirl complains about every little thing it's too tight my feet hurt i'm getting a blister my toes hurt like anything it's too narrow like she just hates shoes in general which is why literally i'll always buy her like one universal pair of shoes like in the summer what is this piece of hair in the summer her universal pair of shoes is always like a pair of slides like the yeezy slides the Givenchy ones anything like that um and then like i tried to get her like some fashion sneakers so like she had like golden gooses and common projects but she wasn't fond of them they just were something to wear like when we had somewhere nice to go but yeah other than that the balenciaga were the way to go so she's had two pairs she's had the black and white and the blue um she outgrew them so i sold them these are the types of things I sell on Asian Nerese Closet. If you're ever curious, you guys always ask me to start a Poshmark. I sell things on Asian Nerese Closet on Instagram. So yeah, so anyways, I picked her up another pair. I actually picked her up two pairs, but the other ones don't get here until Friday. But I just picked her up the traditional white and black because they go with everything. Um, again, they're just something that she just doesn't complain about. She just throws them on and she's good to go. They go with everything in my opinion they're good in the summer spring fall winter so yeah i picked those up for her um and then i got a package from amazon sorry if there was too loud wow where's the other thing i got the other thing too did i 
But so I bought two things for my camera, but the other one didn't come here. But I'm just gonna explain it to you so that way I don't have to come back on camera. So let me get my other camera to demonstrate. So you guys know, like when you have a mirrorless camera, like a vlogging camera, like this, basically, there's always a thing right here at the bottom, which is where you twist in your tripods and stuff like that. <clears throat> The issue is these things are always right near the battery pack and the SD card things. So as a vlogger, when you're filming all day and the battery's down, like right now this battery is showing me that it has two bars left, um, or the memory card tool, you had to physically take off the entire tripod and like you're sitting there like, imagine if you're trying to get a shot or you're trying to do something and you're taking the tripod off, you're opening the door, uh, removing the battery, removing the SD card, shuffling through your stuff to get the other ones, the replacements, and yada yada yada. Put the tripod back on. It's just very annoying as a vlogger because I mean it's an inconvenience within itself because it takes only like a minute or two but it's just something like say I'm just I just want to keep going I have to physically untwist it and twist it back on. So anyways so I picked up for the Sony ZV-1. It's basically a holder for the bottom of the camera which has additional holes right here so that you can put a tripod to the side um, and that way while you have a tripod in you can still access these doors right here for the battery and for the SD card. I know it's not a big deal for everybody but it is something that annoys me. Since I do daily vlog and like these weekly vlogs basically I told you guys that I put like one big SD card in the camera so I use 256 gigabytes and that way I have 10 hours of footage. I don't have to change the card at all like unless i'm filming something astronomical i don't have to change the card but this usually gets me through a week of vlogging with no issues because the only thing i hate about having to swap out sd cards is then i have to keep up with them like i already lost one sd card that had stuff on i have no idea where it's at but yeah and then like when you're uploading things on the computer like you're importing multiple sd cards you're just doing too much but to go along with that for my trip i picked up the rest of the accessories for the camera this was just something i was going back and forth with when i first got the camera i was going to buy the whole bundle um but i didn't really think it was necessary because it wasn't a big inconvenience for me to like physically press record on the camera and all that and i don't like zoom in or anything i never use the defocus on the camera i don't know if you guys could tell the difference right there um but yeah it's just something i just press record and i'm <laughs> that's it i'm that kind of girl but yeah since i am going on a trip i just thought it would be nice and fun to have this that way when i'm recording it's just way easier to like in the middle of whatever i'm doing i can just press record zoom in if i want to take a picture stuff like that um so i ordered this from amazon it was one day shipping so i ordered it last night at like midnight and it was like it'll get here by 1 p.m which it did why is there a box in a box what a waste of a uh, please they also give you a 64 gigabyte card 4k which if i was to put this camera in 4k and use the 64 it would probably give me an hour of footage but whatever so yeah i got this but tomorrow i won't really be vlogging either the majority of the day because harper has to get um some dental work done she's been complaining so we're gonna get that out the way before disney so that she can have a great old time so yeah tomorrow you won't see much of me either um so yeah i'm gonna go finish my laundry make my bed the battery's dying per usual so i will holla at y'all to see why i need to moisturize my face so bad like i cannot but yeah i see y'all when i see y'all and that's just on baby yet. all right so hold on let me turn the down so i originally wasn't gonna vlog today at all i didn't vlog but i'm saying like this portion where i'm coming on talking to you guys just because i don't know i honestly don't know why but then i started thinking about it you know like the whole idea of me putting my life out there i obviously have to show sides that most people wouldn't um so yeah this morning harp and i went to the dentist to get her dental surgery done um this is the second time we've done it so i kind of knew what to expect but i didn't think that it was gonna like drive me up the wall the way it did the first time so the first time when she had like her fillings and stuff done she was like one going on two um so i was really young i was like 18 years old you know but at the time when she first got her first fillings done um she was young you know she was very very little but it was something that had to be done like you know taking care of your teeth is obviously very essential so she had to get fillings done oh my goodness so she had to get fillings done and stuff so obviously that's what we did if you guys see her seat back there right now but when we went the first time when she was younger it like broke my heart when they gave her like this uh 
medicine to like make her a little bit more calm and like you know like get her ready for anesthesia and stuff like that so i was like super super emotional when she was little because she was so so groggy like you know like not groggy i'm sorry she was like so so loopy like she didn't know what was going on she was like falling all over me and it made me like so emotional because it's not how you're supposed to see your kid you know like it's like you know what's going on but it still scares you and you know people are gonna have their judgments about her having to get like work done to her teeth but it's like you know it it happens to the best of us she has like really really sensitive and um, she has like really sensitive teeth like me and like they're loose right now and like they just it's always something wrong it's the same thing that I've always had since I was a kid like even when I was doing everything right something was wrong so when she was little it like broke my heart when I had to go through but it also broke my heart even more because I went through it all by myself you know and I didn't make a baby by myself and I just remember being like so like taken aback because I just was like you know like don't get me wrong it's a mom's job like one thing about a mom we're always going to be the one to do these types of things hold on I'm making a sharp turn we're always going to be the person the parent that does these types of things like even when you know the other parent is around but for like serious things such as like dental work dental surgery or like just when your kid has to be put under period I just remember at the time at the time her dad was around and I did have a boyfriend and I asked both of them to go with me and they both said no but today obviously i went by myself because of the pandemic so like nobody could go with me anyways um because stephanie was gonna go with me like one thing about my friends they are such good friends like they will literally do anything with me they are literally all always being like my support system like her family like for everything holidays dental appointments doctor's appointments shots anything like even when Stephanie kept calling me like to check on her and just was like, you know, I'm gonna bring her something by tomorrow, like for being brave and stuff. Because Harper has like really bad anxiety, like really bad anxiety to be a six year old. Well, I don't know why I'm getting emotional. Um, but then it always hits you worse when they're coming out of anesthesia and they're just like so, so groggy, so out of it, so in pain. And one thing about being a mom, you hate seeing your kid in pain and you just want to take the pain away from them but you can't so you know it's just like well what do I do next and it makes you feel like a fucking terrible parent like being a parent is not for the weak at heart because y'all know I am weak at heart like I'm so emotional I'm such a baby I'm so sensitive but it's just one of those things it's just like it's freaking mind-boggling you know but yeah it's just like super mind-boggling because it's just i don't know it just sucks when you can't help your kid you know because you just want their life to be like so easy so effortless so pain-free you just want it to be like all unicorns and rainbows and when it's not it's just like is this my fault you know so yeah i wasn't gonna come on here and say any of that in the beginning but I figured y'all know everything anyway, so I might as well. And I just want to be like transparent because I know like I'm not the only single mom that is like doing this. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want people to ever think that like I got parenting wrapped around my finger because I don't like we have moments like this where I'm just like what the hell man like oh this freaking sucks if somebody else could have took her <laughs> I, I wouldn't have once you know like I'm still the parent that I don't really like her seeing her get shots and stuff so yeah but i just thought that you guys deserve for me to just come on here and just be like you know vulnerable how i really used to be when i was really in a really dark place in my life so yeah that's pretty much it it is friday which means that we have now been waiting to find out who the president is i mean i feel like for the most part we all know who is going to be but i did just want to address on this because i didn't really talk about voting much on my channel um because I don't really like to talk about politics and stuff like that. You guys know, like, I was a political science major, so <laughs> I actually know what I'm talking about for the most part. Um, but I just didn't want to touch on it too much because it's just a very, very sensitive topic to have, especially with you guys, because I don't know you guys personally. So I don't want to say anything that will ever offend anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, and we all have our opinions, and we're always going to disagree to agree or agree to disagree or however you want to say it. But, yeah politics oh my god it's a truck near me and it's like literally in my lines <sighs> politics are definitely one of those things that i just feel like eh, i don't know yeah so right now oh right now we're just waiting for those counts to come in so that they could announce that my main man's biden's is the president because 
yeah, fucking bro, just shit. The craziest thing about me for the election that just was irritating the hell out of me is just like staring at this map, right? You know, the map, the map, the iconic map where you get to see what states are blue, what states are red, you know, like who's um, primarily for Trump, who's primarily for Biden, da, 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 right? It's like this every election, so it's just like, okay, it's not gonna be all red, it's not gonna be all blue, like, yeah, right. But, but, there's a but. Seeing how many states are red, it just makes you think so much differently about people. Like, it makes me not want to talk to people at all outside because you never know what their beliefs are anymore. Because it's not even like, oh, we disagree about the tax plans and shit. Like, everybody keeps talking about these goddamn taxes. Just shut up. Just shut up. And for me, it's like we're disagreeing or overlooking somebody that has so many characteristic flaws you guys don't support who i support that's okay you know we could agree to disagree but at the end of the day i don't think it's more so about agreeing with somebody's whole entire political campaign i think it's more so about <laughs> agreeing that people are people and you know and we should treat people good no matter what they look like who they are what they believe in what their gender is like anything like that like you know we were literally talking about things such as health care being taken away and women's rights like it's fucking 2020 they're acting like it's 1860 you know and it just was a lot of things that like personally affected me very very strongly um primarily being things that like affected like the lgbtq community because you guys know like i have a lot of friends that are in that community and i love them with all my heart so their fight is my fight at the end of the day and that's just that and then there's things you know regarding black lives matter why people might not might not look at me and identify me as a full black woman there are people that think i'm not asian enough to not be considered black and there's people that think that you know like it, it's just all depends on the person but at the end of the day my family is who my family is and their fight is my fight as well and there's also things such as you know women's rights i am a woman my body is my body my body should not be controlled by the government um and then there's also things such as healthcare. like healthcare is a very finicky subject for me because my little sister has epilepsy so it's just like so many things for me i don't have to agree with everything that he was saying he's gonna do or what he wants to do for america it was things that were just human and it just was like no like you're wrong you cannot do that like you cannot set us back so many decades because you're like a fucking dinosaur you know what i'm saying but anyways yeah so i don't want to talk about politics too much so i'm gonna go home give me some food and relax a little bit so i will see you guys tomorrow my favorite place in the world mm, 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 mm. look at this dummy <laughs> we're in target why are we at Target? We don't know. We're buying TVs. I tried to go to the mall <laughs> to buy jean shorts. Damn, everybody buying TVs. They don't sell? It's Black Friday. They don't Black Friday early. Uh, I tried to buy some denim shorts in the mall. Nobody has any. I didn't get anything, but I wanted to morphine. Look at this pimple. I cannot wait to get my eyelashes done on Sunday. This pimple is not sexy. So now we're going to Target. We're going to get some bits and bobs. And the Crocs. You see the Crocs in the hand on the head? Yes, okay. And they got a nerd to be chocolate. But yeah, let's go into Target. Target. Hey, cool. Huh? Yeah, cool. Oh, What's the vibes? Period. Period. <laughs> Walmart would never clean your carts for you. All right, so I just got home. It's 8:04. Um, uh, I'm gonna show you everything that I got today in the mail and like from the stores and stuff. So. I need to put some hand sanitizer on, but it's not near me. Go ahead, you can show them your stuff first. So Harper got, well, I got Harper from, um, what's it called, Harp? Um, this one's from Target. Go ahead, you can show them. She got a Mickey Mouse outfit for baby Ella. Mm hmm Your little stuffy nose, right here. And a bib. And a sweatshirt. Mm-hmm. Hurry up. Oh, you forgot the onesie? And she got this little Minnie Mouse. Little Minnie Mouse onesie. So, we're sitting here about to pack Harper's suitcase now that all her stuff is here. Of course, my like one item that I really got myself for the trip didn't come on time. So, but so for Harp today in the mail, I got um, another pair of Balenciagas. Hold on, Harp. I got her the uh, 
white ones because I got myself the white ones but they're not here yet so yeah I picked these up for her these are so so cute so if you got these for Disney because I thought we were gonna match but <sighs> yeah that's obviously not gonna work out so I got those today so we're gonna try her outfits on today I picked up these for myself from Zara these are like these set and shorts they're such nice quality um, I want to wear these in Disney. So I picked these up from Zara. They were $39.90. That's expensive. Um, I picked apart this little black tutu for the part so she could look really girly. I picked her up this Minnie Mouse fanny pack. Sorry, my bad. I think this one is like out of the baby section because it's really small. But it's fine. She doesn't carry anything in it. It's more so for decor. You guys know, I, and I don't know if I showed you guys. I picked her up this um, teddy bear one in europe when i was over there so she's been wearing this but we're gonna see if that goes with any of her fits i might not let her wear it in disney because it looks like more fall but yeah and then i also picked her up this one from czar to wear across her chest god bless you and then i picked her up like a standard white t-shirt so she could throw this on like with some biker shorts um i got her this red Minnie mouse t-shirt i don't know how i feel about it but we shall see I picked her up a gray t-shirt so she could wear like some black biker shorts because I picked her up a biker short three-piece set. Um, I got her this bag of Dumbo. It's so, so cute. They had it in store today as well, but I ordered mine. So yeah, this is so cute. I think I'm going to like knot it so it's like hangs a little bit higher on her because it's really long. Um, but yeah, this is really, really cute. It's just like so kitty. And she put like her money in here because that's all that's going to fit. Ugh. And then I also got me a replacement of my favorite white bodysuit. Don't wash them because they get really messed up. And then I got her a pair of some tool socks to wear with her Balenciaga's as well. And then from Target, oh, Steph bought her this dress because Harper likes wearing these types of dresses around the house. Um, and then from Target, I picked Harper up these jammies. You guys know Harper loves jammies and she always makes a jammy cameo on the vlog. So I picked her up this turquoise color. And then I picked them up in this purple this is from like the more than magic brand is that what it's called yeah more than magic i like their stuff they're in cat and jack and these are 14.99 a piece so i picked those up for her so we're gonna pack those i don't know where heart just went and then we went to target oh let me show you guys the stuff i got from target so from target i got the sonia cashew brush set i already opened it because i was like looking at the brushes but they're just like these pink ones like they're nice though they were like really soft so instead of me sitting there picking through the kit i mean picking through like the single brushes i just bought the kit it was like 40 dollars and then i got an ice roller to put in my freezer because my face is so irritated right now like my face is just going crazy i haven't seen my face break out this bed in so long so i bought that to like just kind of calm down everything that i've been picking at like my skin is so irritated with me um these are other brushes by the way and then Get. and then i picked up three other sonia cashew brushes i picked up like two foundation paddle brushes but one is like a precise one and one is a bigger one and then like a flat top kabuki um i picked that up and then i also got um some more color correctors so i got the hd one and orange you guys know i was using the salmon i picked up a replacement of like the salmony light orange is it gonna focus there we go um and then i picked up a new cream contour and beautiful bronze you guys know that's the one i always use the packaging is different like it looks like it's like slimmer but that's fine and i also picked up this color called cashmere it looks a little bit darker than beautiful bronze but i don't have this one i have like hazelnut and stuff so i just picked that one up too and then i went to morphe because i was doing some online shopping on morphe the other day and i'm just one of those people like when i'm online shopping for makeup i just want to get everything that has good reviews but when i go in the store it doesn't excite me as much so inside of morphe i picked up um i picked up two lip liners i picked up sweet tea um i feel like i always hear about people talking about sweet tea i just hate buying makeup right now because you can't swatch anything but yeah i'm gonna just put it on the back of my hand for you guys so it's like a nice um brown so yeah i picked up sweet tea it's like an everyday lip liner i just like trying to find like good affordable lip liners because usually i do like the mixed ones but i don't really like them like i'm not crazy about them and then i also picked up if it comes out what the hell i 
I picked up a Bite Me. Bite Me. And Bite Me is like more of like an orangey brown. It's this one at the top. So yeah, I just picked these two up to mix with my lipstick. And I bought one lipstick. I got Wifey. They all look the same. So the lady was like, yeah, well, if you want to see a color, like we put the test in. And this was like, yeah, at that point, you just need to pull all of them out because how am I going to know what I want? So yeah, I got Wifey. Because I don't know. It looked like a nice nudie pink. I don't know how I feel about that. But can you guys even see it? Not really. But yeah, so that one's called Wifey. The packaging is really nice though. Like it looks really luxe. So I got Wifey. I need to just like go online and see what lipsticks people like. And then I picked up two brushes because, oh, I didn't post a video yet. But I was basically telling you guys in the last get ready with me that I needed a concealer brush for under my brows. And an eyebrow brush so I can stop using a pencil. You guys see I got my eyebrows and they look so, so good. I'll put the girl's name on screen right here that um, I got them done by. I didn't really film too much of it because i'm waiting for her to like open her studio and then once she opens her own studio then i'm gonna really like go and vlog the whole experience for you guys so yeah stay tuned for that so she should be in there in a few weeks so that's when i'll do my maintenance vlog but i got this one this is a morphe 705 you guys know i really like morphe brushes and they're like super affordable so i like how this one is super pointy oh crap that's not gonna go back in the plastic and then I picked up a Morphe M158, which is just a spoolie and a nice little dual fiber angle. I like dual fiber, a uh, dual fiber angle brushes when I do my brows. But also that Sonia Kashuk kit that I got came on too. And then I picked up like this smaller um, concealer brush, which is what I usually like. When I do my concealer under my brows, I like to do like a more round tip brush, just because I don't know the way my brows are, it look it's easier for me. So yeah, this is the Morphe. M421 and then the last thing I picked up was the Morphe Filter Effect Finishing Powder. You guys know I love me a good setting powder for my face. So I just wanted to give this one a shot. I picked mine up in number 10. Filter number 10. Um, it looked like a good color for my face. So yeah, I picked this up. She's cute though. Nice packaging. I think she was like $10 or something like that. So not super bad. She comes with like a powder puff which probably gives you like the filter effect. So yeah, that's everything that I got from Target. So now I'm going to just lay out Harper's outfits um, and try them on her so we can kind of map out what we're taking, like just take exactly what we need. And then I'll come back on her in a little bit. I'm starting to feel like really sick, like I need to pee. But yeah, so we will be back in a little bit. You guys, you want to show them your outfits when you try them on? Or you want to wait to show them when you're in Disney World? Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see how Harper feels. So we'll we'll talk in a little bit. <laughs> oh, she's such a good baby, her little chunky self. You're such a good mom, Harp. <laughs> Hello. So today's Saturday. I didn't vlog all day today. I didn't vlog all day today anyways like i was saying what is going on with my hair because i don't know me and harp just had a really lazy day we, we laid on the couch all day today and we watched some disney movies we watched record ralph we watched and goofy joe biden. we watched joe biden so yeah we watched joe biden today we watched his um president-elect speech so yeah we didn't do anything today literally we sat on the couch all day that's why i didn't vlog so i'm about to go get in the shower wash my hair so it can air dry overnight do my nails because tomorrow I want to film a get ready with me and then I have to film a haul that'll go up on Wednesday so yeah fun times fun times so um yeah that's all that's going on tonight so I just wanted to come on and say hello so I'm gonna end the vlog today did anything happen in this vlog I don't think so but next week's vlog will be fun so yeah i'm gonna go shower and stuff get my life together i also have to put my sheets in the washer and they just were washed two days ago because somebody but yeah so i will see you guys next week well we will see you next week right heart no i get with the program bro <laughs> what's going on but yeah oh i groomed the dog today i had to give him a haircut and a bath so that was fun but yeah so we will see you guys next week the camera's dying anyway so to the loop bill um yeah let me know if you guys want to see anything particular in the next upcoming weeks as well because um, i'm gonna start shifting away from doing so many hauls 
um i'm basically gonna stop accepting contracts for them with sponsorships for them so yeah let me know what you guys want in place of that so yeah i will see you guys next week on sunday see you on wednesday for a haul if that's your thing and yeah see you